Pierre in San Antonio, Texas writes to me and he says, assuming that the master recording source is the same, will the CD quality file sound the same in terms of quality as, as a file uh, as in a 24192 resolution? I've read and talked to people in audio shows and they say that both files will sound exactly the same as long as they are cut from the same source recording. This is a bit of a convoluted way, I believe, and forgive me, Pierre, if I don't mean to say that you're convoluted, but I, I think what you're trying to say is if we start with a 44-1 CD recording, well, we've got a live band over here, they're playing, they're doing their thing, and we record it at 44.1, and then we upsample it to 176, 192, 24, will it sound the same? And people will tell you, yes, absolutely. And I think there's a bit of confusion because the answer is no, it will not sound the same. And here's why. As long as we're talking about upsampling, people are correct in that there is no more information. So if we start with a CD, 44.1 kilohertz, 20 or 16 bits, we make the recording, and then we upsample it to something very much higher, 192.24. There is no more information in this upsampling. I mean, we, yes, we can add a bit of dithering. Yes, we can, we, can, uh, we can extrapolate some things and make up a little bit more. But the bulk of what you're going to hear that is different has nothing to do with the fact that there is more information there because, frankly, there is not going to be any more information from the original recording that, that it can't be. But what we can do is recognize that a higher sample rate through a DAC uses a very different filter set. We don't have to have the, the harsh filters. We don't have to have a number of limitations that we do on a CD. So the DAC itself is very likely going to sound different running at 192 because of all the different filter sets and, and what's happening in the conversion process in the DAC as opposed to when it's running at 44.1 and uh, 16 bits. And you can make that comparison. I've done it a number of times. I've taken CDs and you, you can do it in your Apple. You, you can take a CD, rip a CD, and then record it as a 176, put it on a DVD data disc, and compare the two. Just do it. The DAC will, as long as, and here's, here's a caveat, and I've seen people do, well, I don't hear any difference. Well, that's because you, you may be running it through the, if you're running it on your computer, you may be running it through the core audio of your Mac or your Windows, which, up, which resamples everything anyway, and it all sounds like mush. Um, so, we definitely don't want that. What is this thing telling me here? Um, anyway, everybody's after me for something. Um, so, you do have to make sure that your DAC, when you're playing it back, that your DAC is literally switching up to 192 and switching back down to 44.1. And as long as it's doing that, yeah, you're going to hear a difference. But not because there's more information, but because the DAC is performing differently. So, hope that helps. Okay. Thanks. I'll talk to you tomorrow.